Regardless of whether you're going to draw the drainage layout inside 12D or import it from AutoCAD, we want to set our drainage defaults first. Moving up to the design menu, down to drainage sewer, is the first time we've taken a look at our drainage menu. Clicking on the drainage menu once again, we're going to pin up the drainage menu just because we're going to be using it for the rest of this, pro this project. Now, setting the defaults, I'm going to walk right on defaults, and we're going to be using the top three defaults. We're going to be setting our finished surface tin, we're going to be setting our manhole defaults, and we're going to be setting our pipe defaults. So the first default, being our finished surface tin, is going to be that combined tin that we've created. Once again, it's important that we select the set button before using the finish. Now, most of the settings you're about to see are redundant once we start using the 12D network editor. However, we can speak about them now anyway. First of all, the diameter. Inside 12D, when we draw our network, it's shown as a circular structure, manhole or inlet. When you do your pit schedules, you can substitute this diameter for a length and width of a rectangular pit. When it comes time to a plan drawing, the same diameter circle can be replaced by a pit symbol. However, the drainage lines themselves, the pipes, will be trimmed back to the edge of this circle so that the symbol can be inserted. This drop will be used by default. This will be the minimum drop across a structure. Look down to the next two, the manhole name. This really is not very important because we have a very advanced method of setting these inside the network editor. However, setting the pit type is a great idea because it'll save you setting them one by one later on. Now, this list that you see before you of all the different structure types inside 12D is obtained from our drainage.4D database. You can customize the order and the names of the manholes and inlets inside this database, and we'll do that at a later time. For right now, we'll choose an AL2D inlet. This is a graded inlet with a 2 meter side entry on it, and once again, select the set and the finish. Finally, the pipe defaults. We'll set the diameter to the most commonly used size. I'm going to set this to 0.375. Very important to remember to include the decimal point and not to make the pipes 375 meters in size. The minimum grade is 1 in 100. We'll leave that as is. And the minimum cover, this is measured from the obvert of the pipe up to the surface level. Now, it's always important whenever you enter a cover inside 12D to include a little bit extra for the thickness of the pipe. So I'm looking for a 0.6 meter cover, but I'm going to include an extra 50 millimeters for the thickness of the pipe. Now I'm not going to be using PVC pipes. I'm going to be using reinforced concrete pipes, class twos. Once again, that drop down list is defined inside the drainage.4D file, and you can customize the name and the order of the files. Selecting the set and the finish, We've now set all of the drainage defaults we need in order to create our drainage strings or convert these lines from AutoCAD into drainage strings.